Hey everyone, my name is Ashton August with yogiapproved.com and today we're here to work through a full body exercise, particularly targeting the core using core sliders or also referred to as gliding discs. Now for this tutorial, I am using the Slider X Gliding Discs by Epitome Fitness, but you can use any type of core sliders that you may have at home, and if you don't have a pair, don't worry, you can always improvise. If you're on carpet, you can use something like paper plates or frisbees, and if you're on a harder surface like I am, then you can use something like a washcloth. So when you're ready, grab your core sliders, and let's get started. What I love about using core sliders is the variety of ways that we can use them. So while this exercise will target the core, we'll do a couple that also get our upper and lower bodies as well. So we're gonna target all parts of the core through the exercises that we do, not just the top and bottom, but also working into the side obliques and the transverse abdominis as well. So you're strengthening all parts of your abdomen. Now before we jump in, let's quickly review how to really engage our core so we can get the most out of this workout. So I'm gonna turn the side to show you. And just begin by kind of sticking your belly out. You won't feel any energy here, and you're also gonna feel some arching in the lower back. So from there, try to fill into your lower back by pressing navel to spine, and then compress through your rib cage. So really knitting the rib cage together, and then really engage the core, as if you're about to get hit in the stomach. So that three-part motion, navel to spine, knitting the rib cage, and engaging that abdomen. This is gonna keep your practice safe and give you the most benefit from these exercises. So keep this engaged. And when you're ready, let's jump into our first exercise. I have dual sided core sliders, so I'm gonna slide it down onto the fabric side. You do the same if you have dual sided. And then what we're gonna meet in is a modified plank. So you can even lift your legs and your hips up into plank first, just so you get that general placement. And then we're just gonna set our knees back down. Now you're gonna keep your knees planted. You can release the top of your feet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower down through a chaturanga push-up to target the triceps, hug your elbows in and pause at the bottom as we extend the left arm long, pull it back, and then press back up for one. All right, so here we go nice and slow. Lower down, hug the elbows in, right arm out, in, and lift. Now that makes one set. So we're gonna do four more for a full rep. Here we go. Lower down, core stays strong, left arm out and in, press up. Lower down, core stays engaged, right arm, and up. Lower down, core stays strong, left arm out and in, press up. All right, now keep your pelvis slightly tucked here. Press up, hug the elbows in, down. Good, that's for four. Right side. And last rep through, here we go. Woo-wee! Final one. And then as we come in, we'll bring the heels in. So, a friendly reminder for these exercises. If any of these are really easy for you, then just add on the reps. If any of them are really challenging or not quite attainable for you, just back off. So that's the beauty of this video. You can always add on or back off as you need. All right, when you're ready, we'll move into our next exercise, which is plank mountain climbers. Same basic position, but we're gonna bring our sliders down to our feet. So, planting your hands. We want the sliders to be on the ball of our foot. We're gonna come into our plank position and before you move anything further, make sure that your feet are in the center of the sliders and that your core is nice and strong. So no hips dipping, all right? So engage that core, keep it strong, and here we go. We're gonna pull the knees forward. Now, you can stay slow like this, working on building the strength. And if you want a little more, then we're gonna speed it up. Keep that core engaged. Let's get it for three, Keep breathing for two and one. Good, now you can take a break or even drop down to your knees if you'd like. But I'm gonna show you a different variation. We're gonna get into the side obliques. Same basic thing, but instead, we're gonna cross knees towards the opposite wrists. Fast or slow, you can speed it up a little. Let's go for three, two, woo! and release. All right, take a couple breaths there. That one's a challenging one, but it's a great one because we're targeting the full front of the core and then working into the side obliques too. Speaking of the side obliques, here comes our next exercise. We will again find our plank position 
And now we're going to work into side oblique kicks where we extend alternate legs. All right, I'll show you how it's done. Here we go. Starting position, plank pose as you're ready. Spread your fingers nice and wide, lift the knees. Now, variation number one is that we can bend knee to the outside of the elbow. This is a lot right here. So really challenge yourself to make that knee to elbow connection. Good. Keeping your hips lifted, keeping your core strong. One more round of these. And then we're gonna try a straight leg variation. So here we go, we're gonna kick and kick. Ooh, I'm really breaking a sweat now, guys. This one is super fun and super challenging. Stay with me for three, Woo-wee! Two. And final time here. Wow. Feel that burn. And slowly release to the knees. <sighs> now we're going to combine them into a mountain climber side oblique drill. So, when you're ready, meet me back in our original plank position. Extend the legs wide and here's how this looks. We're gonna go climber, 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 knee, 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 knee. So a four count of each. Woo-wee! Keep it going. And if you're at home and you've got some music, turn it on and move with the beat. That's always motivating. We're gonna do one more full rep of each. Final side here. Woo-wee, here we go. And release when you're done. Okay, let's take a break from plank and we're gonna stand up for this next exercise, which is a side cross lunge flow. So we're gonna move our sliders and come into a squat position. So to start, bring your feet wider than hip width distance apart and we're gonna squat in to the starting point here. Now the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your feet are in the center of your sliders. Okay, so as you bend into your knees, bring your fists forward and stick your booty out as you keep your chest lifted. So starting point here, and then we're gonna take our left foot, we're gonna cross it behind and bend that back knee. Come back to center squat and take it opposite side. So we're always staying low, find a little rhythm. Step, step, step to center, good. Stay with me here. Good, now that we've got the flow of it, we're gonna move a few times through, side to side. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, but stay with me. Final two, here we go. I love this one, I don't know why, I always enjoy this one. Final time, here we go, working that booty. And then meet me where we started for three, two, and one. Okay, we've got two more exercises to go. This next pose is a bear pose flow. It's really fun to do, let's check it out. So we're gonna come back to the ground. We'll plant our hands. Don't worry, we're not doing any more planks, but we are going to start in a tabletop position. So for my yogis out there, you might be familiar with bear pose. And basically, we're gonna start with the balls of our feet on the sliders, and then from a tabletop, we're just gonna lift and hover the knees. So this is our starting point right here, and maybe this is enough for you because it's really challenging to keep these core sliders stable. Now if you want a little more, we're gonna begin to draw little circles into midline. Now notice that I'm not arching in my lower back. I'm keeping everything strong and engaged. Tiny circular movements here, working deep into the core. Let's go, keep breathing. Stay with me for three. Woo-wee, circle inward for two. And last one here. Wow, before we release. Great job, since we're here, let's just release to the top of the feet and do an inhale to lift the gaze. And an exhale to round the spine, just to counter those motions. Good, come back to center. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come onto our seat and move into our final exercise. Last but certainly not least, we're going to do a little bridge lift flow. So, from where you are seated, you're gonna bring the sliders out in front of you, and you're just gonna lower onto your back to start. As you find the sliders, 
with your feet. So make sure that each foot is planted squarely on the slider and then relax your head down by your side. You're also going to really press your arms into the floor and here's what this movement looks like. So we're gonna lift the hips up for a bridge pose and then as we lower the tailbone down, we're going to extend the legs long and then pull them back in a little hamstring curl and lift. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start from the bottom. We're gonna lift, lower, extend for one. Good, pull in, lift, lower, extend for two. You got it. So really focus on keeping the hips lifted nice and high as we rise, pressing shoulder blades into the ground and then extending and pulling. So you wanna keep the legs active here. Stay with me for final three. Ah, <sighs> good. Two. And our final one here. For a little bonus, we're gonna bring the heels back in and lift the hips nice and high. We'll stay here for three. <sighs> nice deep breathing as we begin to cool down for two. Good, and last one here, deep inhale. And open mouth ha, as you slowly release the hips down. And then let's just hug our knees into the chest. We did a lot of core work today as promised, but it's always nice to kind of counter those exercises with a few gentle stretches. So take another breath here. I like to wrap my arms around my shins and get a nice deep compression. <sighs> and to neutralize the spine, we're gonna end with a quick little spinal twist. Just drop both of your knees to the right and then reach your left arm in the opposite direction and shift your gaze over the left fingertips. Take a deep breath in and out. And one more side, here we go. Come through center, bring the right arm out. And as you drop the knees left, you can send your gaze out over the right fingers. Nice deep breath in and out. Good. And we'll slowly come back. One more little squeeze here. And then we can just roll off to one side and press up. Woo! All right, you guys. Well, there you have it. A short but definitely effective full body strengthening routine using core sliders. You can always add reps, add different exercises, or back off as you need. Just remember to take it slow, keep it safe, and don't forget about that abdominal engagement. And again, I am using the Slider X Gliding Discs by Epitome Fitness. And if you are on the market for a core slider, look for one that's dual-sided so you can use them on carpet or a hard surface.